Good morning, everybody. Uh, I don't know whether you managed to watch or listen to my message on Sunday if you weren't there, but part of the message was talking about the game of chess and about how chess is a strategic game and it takes a lot of pre-planning and thought. It's not reactive in any way. And I use that really to talk about how God is a, is a strategic God. Uh, he never is out of control of anything. But I was thinking further uh, this morning, actually, about the game of chess and about how it actually works. I don't know whether you've played chess before, but of course, on the board, you have different pieces. And uh, the two primary pieces on the board are the king and the queen. And the aim of the game is to get your uh, opponent into what's called checkmate. That's where the king or their king uh, no matter which way it moves, it would get taken on the board. So in other words, it's uh, it's in a no-win situation. If you can get their king into a no-win situation, then you've got them in checkmate and you've won the game. But there's a, there's a part of the game before checkmate, which is called putting the king into check. In other words, what that means is if you can position yourself on the board... So that if the king moved one way, it would get taken. But if it moved another way, or if another piece moved in its way, it would stop itself from getting taken. So it's almost like a warning for checkmate. And as I was thinking a little bit about life, and about our Christian walk, and about the people that we have around us, I think that God very often gives us the opportunity of being in check, but not checkmate. Maybe we're living in a particular way or we're making decisions in life or we're walking down a particular path and God knows that the end of that path will be checkmate. In other words, we've got ourselves into a situation in life where there is no win, there is no point, there is the point of no return. But by God's grace and by God's mercy, he gives us warning signs or he gives us alerts or he gives us signs where we can look and think, do you know what? I don't have to go down that road. I don't have to move that way. I don't have to put myself in position. And so often we get into check where God has shown us, if you go that way, it's not going to end well. But if you go this way, it's going to end well. And I want to encourage us in our walk with God to be discerning enough to listen to the voice of God in any and every situation. Sometimes God speaks to us and says, you're doing a great job. Keep on going. Keep running the path that you're going on. Other times, God, by his grace, will say, do you know what? You are in check right now. And if you keep going that way, you will be in checkmate. And God speaks to us through his word. He speaks to us through his spirit. He speaks to us by the friends that we have around us. I praise God for great friends in my life, people that could come alongside and encourage me, people that also can speak into my life and say, do you know what, Dave, you're going down a road or a journey that, that is not the best journey, you're in check right now, but you don't have to end up in checkmate. So when we walk life, let's remember that we're not doing this journey alone, that we have the voice of God with us at all times. And we have people around us that can guide us, that can nurture us, that can show us the right path and not the wrong path. So we don't end up in checkmate, but we end up on the winning team. May God bless you today.